G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. As you are probably aware, I make uh, training videos on using Delphi, uh, both free and commercial, and you can find those on my website at LearnDelphi.tv. And for this video, I was recently at the Australian Delphi User Group, that's ADUG, Symposium, to the 2014 event, um, so it was in March, uh, a bit over a week ago, and while I was there, I just grabbed some people on camera explaining what they use Delphi for. So let's watch those now. Uh, yeah, my name's Tim. Um, I live in Gundawindi in Queensland, and uh, the um, sort of stuff that I use Delphi for uh, lately is doing industrial uh, applications for cotton gins. Uh, I've always uh, done uh, uh, office and Weybridge type applications for cotton gins, but the, uh, the industrial recording inside the cotton gin. And yeah. So, what, what's a cotton gin? Oh, cotton gin. A cotton yeah. gin is the uh, process of uh, when cotton is picked, is they separate the seed from the cotton lint, uh, and it's gin is short for engine. And um, yeah, there's thousands of them in America, and there's uh, twenty something of them in Australia. So there you go. Okay, and so sort of what version of Delphi do you uh, uh, run? I. I've done most of that stuff in XE2, but I've got XE5 and, and I'm doing some stuff in XE5. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Steve from a company called Foresight, uh, based in Brisbane. Uh, we develop uh, business management software for uh, a whole bunch of industries. Uh, it does things like um, uh, accounting, uh, of sale, stock management, uh, electronic ordering, all that sort of thing. Uh, our software is used in um, uh, a lot of hardware stores uh, throughout Queensland and throughout the rest of Australia. Uh, it's also used in uh, pharmacies around the place, landscapes and bar yards, all sorts of things. So we've got hundreds of clients using our software. And um, what we're doing at the moment with Delphi is we're just starting to take advantage of all the new mobile features with XE5. And um, uh, we're building some add-on mobile apps that allow our customers to uh, gain extra features on top of the, their existing systems to do things like mobile stock taking and uh, uh, generate orders on their own and all that sort of stuff. So okay. it's a pretty exciting time for us. Hey, how have you been finding uh, building the mobile apps in Delphi? Uh, we've only just been, gotten started in the last one to two months and it's going really well. We've been able to uh, do up some prototypes and get, get some examples going you know, in, in a matter of weeks. That, uh, things that we expected to might take a month, so it's looking really good so far. Fantastic, and, uh, so high, high productivity. Very productive, yep. Yeah, awesome. Uh, and uh, we're looking to start working towards rolling out our first live system in the next uh, one to two months. Okay, fantastic, thank you. Darren, I'm from Info Central Solutions. Uh, we use Delphi to build an enterprise level ERP, uh, retail point of sale system, various servers to support it. Yeah, we sort of aim at the enterprise market, retail clients who have sort of four and upwards sort of stores. Okay. What, what version of Delphi are you um, currently uh, currently using 2007. Okay. Investigating the jump to XE5. Yeah, it's a big one, that. Yeah. Going, so, it's, there's quite a few versions to uh, yeah. <laughs> to catch up on. Um, yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. We're, we're worth it, I think. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Hi, I'm Steve Corbett and Corbett Technologies and uh, I'm a consultant and probably one of my major Delphi applications is a uh, warranty and uh, service monitoring uh, system for my clients. Okay, so what sort of people would run that? Big part. Well, who, who would run it? Who would run it? Um, well, the system runs itself. It's, uh, the backend database is uh, an IBM I series and uh, clients that are just up on the PCs. Okay. And uh, who would run it? Um, uh, my uh, major client would be the Zodiac Group Australia, who uh, manufactures and distributors of uh, clean in equipment and uh, chemicals as well. Yeah. Okay, and what version of Delphi are you uh, presently on? I'm using XE5. Oh, the latest, uh, excellent. Working on that because of the uh, ability to generate applications to run on uh, mobile devices. And have you uh, built any mobile apps in it yet? I've built a lot, a lot of test apps and uh, not deployed anything for the introduction. Okay. Have, you found, have you found that process? Has it been working for you? or? Uh... Oh, very challenging. Yep. It's uh, getting used to a new platform. Indeed, Fine Monkey is very different from the VCL. Um, battling Fire Monkey and um, 
uh, lack of documentation in some areas. Yep. Uh, it, it has improved lately, but yeah, there is there's some gaps still. Yeah, there's some big gaps, and um, we work in different ways. Um, learning to approach things as to how to work around the, uh, the features that are different to the DCL features. Okay, great. Thank you. My name is Charles Hacker. I'm from Griffith University. We're on the Gold Coast. <laughs> so, so um, what, what version of Delphi you are yeah, currently Delphi on? Delphi 7. Okay, and uh, you, you haven't upgraded to the uh, latest version? Only just Is recently, it? only about, I've had it for about a week, Delphi XE5. I've only updated okay. because it had the Android support. Okay. To go to yeah, a lot of people are saying that the, the, the newer versions of Delphi are um, the, the reason they upgraded this because of the, the mobile support. Which is quite and interesting. About in the Android programming eventually, so I thought that'll be a way of getting into it. Uh, the only reason why I hadn't updated was because uh, the university stopped supporting Ball, um, Delphi as soon as Borland went out of it. So the last version they bought was Borland 7. And so as soon as it didn't become Borland anymore, they considered it dead. So that was it. They never bought Borland again. Okay. They never had Delphi again. Uh, uh, very I unfortunate. At that point on, so I stuck with Delphi 7. So what years. sort of uh, systems do you build? Mainly just education. So um, mainly um, testing type software and whatever and just um, giving questions, multi-choice questions to students and a database of multi-choice questions and the students have, um, answer various questions. They, uh, they cause a database up, calls answer up, displays it to the user and the user answers the data and um, installs the data to a, to a text file, they encrypt the text file, they can then email me the text file and I can then mark based on that information. Okay, excellent. Any similar thing with a mobile? Well, yeah, that was the idea, yes, yeah, to switch it into a mobile platform so that they could utilise it on mobile and Android. Well, I'm not going sti to stick away from Apple because, I mean, they need licensing to start by, um, writing uh, Apple software, but Android, yeah, so you have an Android version as well as a Windows version. There's a lot of students that could ask them about an Android version of it, so okay. like, it's a good idea to start it. Alrighty, thank you very much. My name is Nick Hodges. I'm a Delphi developer from the Philadelphia area of Pennsylvania, United States. So, yep, so Nick's, Nick's here as a, um, the international speaker for the uh, Australian Delphi User Group Symposium in Melbourne, and we're here in Brisbane for, for part two. Um, so, uh, Nick's done a couple of presentations. So, do you just want to sort of roughly say what you've talked about? Oh, well, yeah, two presentations. Uh, the first one was on uh, dependency injection and uh, using the Spring Frameworks container to help and aid in your dependency injection. And uh, the main thrust of that was to uh, write clean code that's decoupled and uh, codes against interfaces as opposed to uh, coding against implementations using constructor injection and center injection and method injection to uh, loosely couple your code passing interfaces rather than concrete objects. And the second talk was about uh, design patterns and using Delphi examples. I talked about the template method pattern, the adapter pattern, the command pattern. What else? Decorator pattern. What's that? Decorator. Decorator. And I was supposed to talk about factory pattern, but I ran out of time. Yeah, and you, uh, of course, have a new book out. I do. It's called Coding in Delphi. It's. Uh, been uh, quite successful so far. I'm very grateful to everybody that's purchased a copy. I'm very grateful to uh, Embarcadero for having uh, offered it as part of the XC5 promotion, which I encourage everybody to buy and get a, get a digital copy of the book. And if you're interested in a print copy, you can get it on Amazon or CreateSpace. Excellent. I've, I've read your book. I'm quite impressed with it. I think um, uh, every Delphi developer should probably uh, have a, have a read. Well, you're, you're and, too kind. and other books as well. I mean, there's also the. Uh, have you read Chris Rolleston's um, uh, XC2? I have not got a copy of that, but I intend to. Yeah, no, it's um, it's quite an impressive uh, volume, actually. Um, yeah, he's very good. It's, it's huge. Uh, it's 600 pages, I think. Really? So, yeah. Oh, wow. So I was quite impressed with it. Okay, that's very good. I haven't, haven't quite finished it yet. I've got a couple of, couple of chapters to go. 600 pages is a lot of work. It is, yeah. It's, it's massive. So it would have taken him a long time to yeah, compile as that. I said, as I said earlier, I was happy to finish my book. <laughs> yeah, no, and we're all glad you have. Well, so. good, thank you. I'm very grateful. Okay. This isn't Nick Hodges. Where's the beard? Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's no beard. It's an imposter. No, it's not. <laughs> so, that's uh, Loch and Gimmel. I had a, so. what, what, had, what did you call it? A, a jet lag induced shaving jet -lag incident. Jet lag induced shaving incident, yes. <laughs> I did. Yeah. I did. Yeah. 
Sorry, go. go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That was Lachlan Gamel, for those of you who don't know, giving me a hard time about the fact that my uh, goatee came off this week, purely by accident. Indeed. Okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, my name's Lachlan Gemmel. I'm the current president of ADA, uh, the Australian Delphi User Group. And um, myself, I use Delphi to write some software for uh, professional sporting teams, and also I formed a business with some other ADA members. And we are helping developers who are reaching the end of their development career prepare their projects for transition to be taken over by the next generation whose server's going to need to maintain that project uh, going into the future. Um, ADUG itself is going strong here in Australia. Uh, we've got uh, several hundred members and our symposium today and yesterday has been well attended. Very pleased with the numbers. Uh, yeah, if, if you do Delphi and you're anywhere around Australia, please have a look at adug.org.au and get in touch with us. We've got some mailing lists there which are good to subscribe to. And we have meetings happening in each state capital of Australia. Um, and, and yeah, you know, I suppose also you know this is an ADAG symposium. It's an international thing. So if you're, uh, oh yes, I've yeah, come yeah. from New Zealand. So uh, yes, definitely. Yeah, if, yeah, if, we, if you want a free text, well not free, but a text deductible <laughs> trip to Australia, uh, it's an excellent way of uh, achieving that. Yeah, yeah. Each year at the symposium, we um, we sponsor one international speaker to come out and uh, present at the symposium, which is our special guest. And we're always very appreciative that they do that because it's it's a long way to come. And but we like to think that we treat them well and uh, yeah, they, we like to make sure that they have a good time while they're here. Oh indeed, I mean, Australian hospitality is excellent. So. Oh good, glad to hear. So if, yeah, if, if uh, you're out there and want an opportunity to uh, either attend the conference or be a speaker, uh, talk to Lachlan. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah any, anyone from ADUG will be able to help you out. Um, but uh, there's addresses, contact details on the ADUG website and yeah. Uh, adag.org.au, isn't it? adag.org.au, yes. Okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome, thank you.